Hello viewers, welcome to our history class today. The teacher is Roger Michira, ready to take you through the United Nations and the subtopic of the discussion today is the organs of the United Nations. And the station you're watching is Elimu TV. Let us all get to watch and learn. Now, if I get to take you to our previous lessons, we, we did look at why the UN was formed, the work of the United Nations, where are the offices of the United Nations? Now today, we get to look at what are some of the organs of the United Nations. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? That is the lesson objectives. We need to make sure that we state the organs of the UN and also state the functions of the United, sorry, state, state the functions of the organs of the United Nations. Now let us get to look at the first organ of the United Nations which is the General Assembly. Now, from our term, the General Assembly, this is a meeting. Assembly is a meeting of people, right? A meeting of people. And now when it comes to the United Nations, General Assembly is a meeting of all the member states, right? Meeting of all the member states. Now, let us get to look at that, right? Look at that. That's the Assembly. Good. That is simply a meeting of all the member states. Now, we must also note that the General Assembly is also known as the town meeting, right? The town meeting of the, of the world, where all the member states get to meet. You have already seen what the General, the, the General Assembly is, and we have said that it is also known as the town meeting of the world, where all members of the states meet. Now, can you get to look at functions of the General Assembly? What are some of these functions? One, to discuss any question relating to international peace and security. When, <coughs> when we have got, sorry, when we have got something threatening international peace and security. For example, yesterday, the UN, the United Nations, called a conference, right, a general assembly, to discuss the current situation in Uganda, right? the current situation, the political developments in Uganda, right? Remember, that is, that is something that is uh, threatening international peace and security. That is when they get to meet. When there is anything threatening international peace, they get to meet and deliberate on those issues. And also, another work of the General Assembly, they get to admit new members, suspend, and also dismiss members, right? If a, a certain country wants to join the UN, is the General Assembly that is going to admit. If they feel that uh, a certain state member has violated the, the principles or the obligations of the United Nations, is the General Assembly that we get to suspend. And also, when talk of dismissing, it's also the United, uh, it's, or rather it's also the General Assembly. Another work of the United Nations is that to make recommendations for the peaceful settlement of any situation, right? If they want to make recommendations, on the peaceful settlement of any situation. And also, the United Nations received, receives annual reports from the Secretary General, the Security Council, Economic and the Trust annual. annual. So meaning they get to receive reports annually from the Secretary General, right? They receive reports from the Security Council, right? They also receive reports from the Economic and the Trust annual, the, the trustee council annually, right? Now those are some of the functions of the United Nations, or, or sorry, the, the, the General Assembly, and also guide activities of the five organs of the UN. So we have activities of the UN, right? We get to look at what are some of these functions, or other organs of, of, the, of the UN, other five organs of the UN. We have started the first organ, which is the General Assembly. What are some of those other organs? So it guides the activities of the five other organs of the UN. And also, the General Assembly controls finances of the organization and also approves its budget, right? How does it spend, right? How much do they have in their, in, in their financial account, good? So they get to control the finances of the organization and also approve its budget. Also, the General Assembly it deals with various matters, two of which consider political problems, right? Political issues is the General Assembly that deals with that. And also, <coughs> one thing we must get to note about the, uh, about the General Assembly is that member states 
may send may only send five representatives but only one right but only one what is that who can tell us what that means right it's only get to send five representatives but only one will have to vote for example from kenya we can we we, we can send our president we send our deputy we send one of the cabinet secretaries right and the assistant but when they get to the general assembly it is only one representative will vote right and also the decision require a two-third majority depending on the patience of the matter right if you're going to deliberate on international uh, on something causing international peace and security we must have approval of the two-third majority from the general assembly and also we must get to know that the agenda of the assembly usually consists of more than 100 items before they call for a meeting they must have at least 100 items to discuss now members we have looked at now class we have looked at the general assembly as the first organ of the united nations now for our assignment can we get to look at what as uh, which organ of the un admits expels or suspends members of the assembly right who suspends who admits and who expels members from the assembly and for a reference let us get to use the evolving world history and government and as always this is a lim tv your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn let us keep a lim tv watch our videos and let us learn